Throughout a career that encompassed a wide variety of subjects and printing styles, British photographer Bill Brandt, born in Hamburg, Germany in 1904, enabled viewers to see the world with, as he put it, a sense of wonder. He began his career as an assistant to Man Ray in Paris, where he discovered the work of Eugene Atget and Hungarian photographer Brassai. Brandt experimented freely with artificial light, cropping, and photo montage. The four main categories of his work are social reportage, landscape, portraiture, and the female nude. Photography is not a sport, he said. It has no rules. Everything must be dared and tried. He is one of the 20th century's great black and white masters. In this particular picture, it would appear that it was shot with a higher ISO setting because of the graininess of the picture. The bullseye view and the color contrast between the black and the white really make this picture stand out as a true aesthetically evaluative photo. Brandt moved to London in 1931 where he documented British life before and during World War II. Like Brassai, he became known for his night photography. He was at his best when delving into darkness. He savored the dirtiness of coal miners, the raven-slick walls of London alleys, and the burly silhouettes of shadowed couples in dim rooms. One of Brandt's most famous portraits shows the painter Francis Bacon walking on Primrose Hill in stormy evening light in 1963. Typically, the subject's eyes are averted and downcast. The wide-angled lens, which Brand had just started using, allows for a composition of dramatically tilted lines. The effect is to create an atmosphere of mental precariousness. After the war, Brand's interest turned to landscapes and then to the human form. He went on to photograph nudes from the 1960s into the 1970s, using unusual perspectives to transform flesh into abstract landscapes. There is a softness and subtleness to the nude images. Each one is unique and would be very hard to replicate. Brandt, using a turn-of-the-century camera built for police mugshots with a wide-angle lens to gather them in and an aperture almost pinhole-sized to render them sharp. Following the contours of the body, his wide-angle lens made knees and buttocks rise to form mountains or boulders, arms become columns, fingers become creatures against the smooth pebbles of a French beach. In each one, the camera conspires to reshape reality and confound the eye with new permutations of the flesh reveling in the folds of the body. There is a basic reticence about his approach that feels refreshing in today's culture of maximum exposure. He did not go to great lengths to turn people into icons, nor did he presume to show their true nature in something as transient as a photograph. Instead, he used pho photography's special theoretical qualities to suggest intimate things about his subjects, things that cannot be put into words and may not even be possible to put into pictures. Bill Brandt died in 1983.